I have said it once before and I will say it a thousand more times if I have to, this bike is sexy. What is up y'all and welcome back to yet another video. Thank you for being here. I am getting right into it today with five things that I love about my CBR 500R. I have the 2019 model and starting with number one, the looks and the style, as you probably could have guessed, this thing just looks amazing to me. I love walking out to my garage and seeing this thing. I have not gotten tired of it yet. The front end, it looks mean, it looks aggressive. It fits the part of a super sport without having all of that crazy power, which I don't need specifically yet, or if ever, who knows. But everything, the lines all the way to the tail end, it just comes together so nicely. Honda did a great job designing this bike, and I really have no complaints with the style other than the massive exhaust on the other side, which is fixable. But I have a million things that I could tell you I love about this bike, but we don't have time for that. So let's hop on and I'll tell you about the rest. All right, here we go. The second thing that I love about this bike is the comfort and ergonomics. So I sit all day for work and it really does take a toll on my lower back. So I get a lot of lower back pain and when I ride this bike, I really only get back pain if I'm on here for, I'd say like an hour or more. And that's if I'm on the highways. If I'm just cruising out here on the twisties and if I'm moving around and, you know, having fun with the bike, I don't really notice it. If I'm just sitting in one spot on the interstate, my back really starts to bother me. But even then I can sit kind of more upright and it doesn't really bother me too much. The handlebars are raised up, the wind, really doesn't get to you that bad it's completely doable compared to like a naked bike so the comfort and the ergonomics they play a huge part in why you buy a bike and why you want to buy this a specific type of bike so if you're looking at the 500r i highly highly give props to them on the comfort and the ergonomics the foot pegs aren't too high but still in a sporty enough position to, to kind of give you that forward lean, lean angle if you want. And it really just works out in all areas. You can sit more upright or you can kind of lean forward and get really aggressive with it. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with the 500R. And on to number three, this bike gets insanely good gas mileage. If you baby this thing, if you ride in six gear everywhere, which is totally possible, it's just a little slower and kind of like laggy. But if you're riding in six gear everywhere on this thing, you can easily, and I mean like easily, you don't even have to try. You can get upwards of 70, 80 miles per gallon. Like I think it's a four and a half gallon tank and you know i don't really baby this thing i i ride it pretty hard for for what you can ride this bike like but you know i can easily get 200 miles on a tank like i'm 1.6 gallons in on this specific trip and i have 95 miles so that breaks down to pretty much you know 60 miles per gallon for me and you know I'm not babying this thing by any means and I redline you know enough to where I, ha I have enough fun so this thing gets crazy good gas mileage you could totally take a long trip on this bike if you wanted to and you would be fine you wouldn't have to carry like an extra tank of gas or anything like that so if you're looking at this bike definitely keep that in mind depends on what kind of riding you want to do like with everything but it gets great gas mileage, man. No complaints there. Number four on the list of things I love about my CBR 500R is the slipper clutch. I never thought I would love this thing as much as I do until after riding my buddy Steven's bike. If you want to watch that video, he has a Gixxer 1000. I'll leave a link right up there in the top. You can watch it. But that thing, the clutch, it, it literally feels like you're pulling in a 10 pound weight. And like me, I like to sit at stoplights. I always stay in first gear just in case I have to skirt off somewhere. Somebody behind me is coming up quick and I got to get out of the way. And I never have to think twice about holding this thing in for two, three minutes at a time. It is so lightweight. It's so easy and it just makes shifting like thoughtless. You don't even have to think about it. It just boom. It's like it, it just it's easy and I love it. It like weighs like nothing. 
And I know most bikes now, most newer bikes have slipper clutches, I, I believe. I'm not sure. But I know it's like newer technology and most bikes are, are kind of getting it now. Unless you ride a Ducati, I guess. But it is it's a game changer, man. I absolutely love it. And I am, I'm sure you can, but I'm not sure if you can get like an aftermarket part to make a, a non-slipper clutch a slipper clutch. So that might be something I have to look into um, when I get another bike, which I've been looking at the Kawasaki Z900 and one, that thing has a slipper clutch and two, I love the look of that thing. It is, it's just amazing. So we'll get into that on another video maybe, but the slipper clutch on this bike is a game changer. It is amazing. And last but not least of the top five things that I love about my CBR 500R, that goes to the reliability of this bike. Honda made a great quality bike. Knock on metal gas tank. I have never had an issue with this bike. Like a few minor issues where the clutch was sticking, but that was an easy fix that I could do myself. Um, but nothing else. The bike has never stalled on me. Uh, I've never had any problems burning oil. It's just been all around a great quality bike and I have no complaints. Like this is the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect bike for a beginner. Even though it's a 500cc, there's really not that much more power than say a Ninja 400 or uh, an R3. Like there's only 47 horsepower in this thing. It weighs 420, 430 pounds, so you're not gonna get blown around. It really makes you learn to maneuver the bike and, and how to balance the bike. And it just kind of makes you more of an overall good rider in my opinion. So props to Honda for making a reliable bike. I really, really love this 500R and to be honest, it's, it's gonna be a sad day when it comes when I decide to get rid of this thing. Not giving any hints or saying I am getting rid of it, but I know the day's gonna come and I have been looking at other bikes. So we'll see, time will tell. But as far as you know, me having this bike and what I've gotten out of it, man, I have, next to zero complaints we'll call it like 0 0.2 of a complaint not even a full complaint it's just it's amazing in all aspects and if you're looking to be riding in like a sportier style but still have some comfort and maybe take some longer trips this is just it's the perfect bike for a beginner to have to learn how to ride and i can't say enough good things about it so That'll do it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I, I love making these videos and reviewing bikes, and I want to just ride as many bikes as I possibly can. So if you got a hookup on a bike and you want me to review it, leave a comment down below. I'd love to. And if you're in Phoenix, let's ride.